What are you looking at? What's 2017 Look. to 2018? Danny made it for me. She made it for my birthday. Oh. But it's like all the outfits. Oh my God, that's so cool. What a great idea. Yeah. I would use her as a stylist just to get the book every year. Yeah. Um, anyways, how annoying are Kim and Chloe lately? The most annoying because we don't share anything. I feel drained, like energetically, like, like I do every day like of the week. Like you feel drained. Yeah. You cannot give yourself. Amen. So like, can I, I have feel, an amen? I feel like I'm yes. drained, but also they can't give me like one second to breathe. Yeah. They followed me. I had to go to a meeting and they were creeping Stop. in the guy's backyard. Oh my God. And they, you know, were just so mean. Yeah. And the fact that they are going to act that way to their family and put a job above their family. Here's the thing. They're trying to give tough love. Mm -hmm. And I think, I truly believe that they're coming from a good place, but I feel like they're just going about it the wrong way. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really unfair for anybody to judge. I think we just all have to do the best we can. Right. Every and time everyone starts judging, that. it's a sh show. If you guys start saying, well, this one's not filming, and this one filmed for four hours, and but this one was here 15 minutes, a... it creates this. Everybody has their moment their, of their sharing. Own. I shared everything from my relationship with Scott, everything to where all these people were involved in my relationship and it was horrible for our relationship. I know it's hard. I, of course, am grateful for all the years of filming our show, but you know, I've spent so many years on camera and I'm just in a different headspace. It's just been a really hard time going from like having all of you guys to having nobody, you know? so much and I should just be so happy. What am I doing? It just was a lot of pressure on an everyday life and I'm just outgrown that. I think the private moments are so special and I just need more of them. It's definitely um, a challenge. It's a great job. It's the foundation for so many other things we do and I'm so grateful for it. I am. It's what got us to here, so I no, love that. I'm grateful too. The thing that I don't like is when I feel as if they put work in front of like the well-being of one of us. I would fight for them if they said these are their boundaries and whatever. I would yeah. stick up for them. So I'm like, why do you not stick up for me and get that those are things that I need? We just need to sit down with them and press reset and start fresh. Everyone just has attitudes. to be more understanding. I agree. We've shared our lives for so many years and been vulnerable and, you know, had so much exposed. I think what happens is, over time, it grinds on you. So I totally understand yeah. where you're and coming from. And I think from. what people don't realize is you live the moment, you then have to talk about it again in these interviews, and then you have to watch it again on TV and see everyone comment on it. It can really mess with you and drain you, I think, over time. All right, I have to rush to a meeting. Okay. So I love you, and I've got your back. Yeah. You know? And I love you very much, Court. <clears throat> I love you. Okay, I'll see you later. Can't wait to film with you later. <laughs>